Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate the calories that you're getting from each macronutrient and how to do the calculation in reverse. Um, so calculating calories, you start by multiplying the number of grams by the number of calories that you get per gram of that macronutrient. So if we look at um, our nutrition label here, our nutrition facts, we see we have eight grams of fat, uh, 37 grams of carbohydrate and three grams of protein. Um, so the math here, um, if we have eight grams of fat, we would multiply those eight grams times nine calories because we get nine calories per gram of fat. So that means that per serving for this food, we're getting 72 calories from fat. Uh, then for carbs and proteins, you multiply by four calories because we get four calories per gram of carb and four calories per gram of protein. Um, so we just multiply the number of grams times the number of calories per gram for each respective nutrient, and then we get the total calories from each of those nutrients. So if we add all of those up, we get 232, which you'll notice is a two more than 230, which is what it says on the label. Um, so when you do the math this way, it will always be two or three calories off from what it says on the label. Um, and that's because when they put the eight grams, the 37 grams, the three grams, they're rounding. Um, so they're basing the total calories on the label um, on the decimal points that they use in the total grams for each of those macronutrients, but we don't know what those decimals are, so we're using the, the whole number. So it'll always be off by a couple, but that's really no big deal. Um, so if we want to calculate the percentage of calories that we're getting from each macronutrient, um, meaning like what percentage of this food is coming from uh, carbohydrate or what percentage of calories in this food are coming from protein. Uh, we will just take the number of calories from each macronutrient that we just calculated on the last slide and divide it by the total number of calories in that food. Um, so for that, I use the 230, the number that is on the label, because we can assume that that'll be more accurate than the 232. Um, so we just take the calories from each macro and divide it by the total calories in the food. And then we get uh, you know, 0 0.313, 0 0.643, 0 0.052. Uh, we multiply by 100, so we move the decimal point over to, and we get our percentages. So this is saying that 31.3% of the calories per serving of this food came from fat. 64.3% of calories per serving of this food came from carbs. And 5.2% of calories per serving of this food came from protein. Um, you can use the same exact process, the same math that I showed on the last slide and this slide to calculate your percentages for your whole day of calories. So I used this one food as an example, but let's say you're keeping track of how many grams you're eating of fat, carbs, and proteins over the course of the entire day. Um, then you can convert those grams into calories and find the um, the percentages of the calories coming from each of the macros for your entire day using the exact same math. Um, now, sometimes we want to do it in the reverse. Let's say that you are trying to keep your calories from each macronutrient within a specific range. Um, then you need to be able to take that percentage and convert that essentially into the number of grams you should be eating per day of each macronutrient. Uh, so here I just gave you an example. I'm not saying this is these are the ranges you should be aiming for or anything like that because it depends on you as an individual and what your needs are. Um, but I just chose some pretty standard recommendations to use as an example. Um, so for this example, we're going on 45 to 65% of calories from carbohydrates, 20 to 35% of calories from fat, 10 to 35% of calories from protein, and based on eating 2,000 total calories in the day. So it's a pretty general standard recommendation, but if you're following a ketogenic diet or uh, the zone or <laughs> uh, any other, you know, there's so many different styles of eating and, and types of targets that we might have there. Um, so it depends, but this is just a generic um, example. 
So to calculate how many grams that would be, we would take the total number of calories per day. So for our example, it's 2000 calories and multiply that by 0.45 to get the bottom end of our range, the 45%. So we know that we wanna have at least 900 calories from carbohydrate to achieve at least 45% of our total calories from carbohydrate. Then we would do the same thing, but with 0.65 to get the upper end of the range so that we know uh, we wanna get between 900 and 1300 calories per day from carbohydrate. So then if we divide that 900 and the 1300 by four calories per gram of carbohydrate, that gives us the number of grams that makes our range. So we go 900 divided by four. And so we know the bottom of our range is 225 grams of carbohydrate. And then 1300 divided by four, we know that the upper end of our range is gonna be 325 grams of carbohydrate. Uh, the math for protein is going to be exactly the same, but there we're using 0.1 and 0.35 to find 10% to 35%. Um, but because there's four calories per gram of protein, the math is done in exactly the same way, just using the different percentages. Um, for fat, uh, we get nine calories per gram of fat. So there, we're still gonna calculate the same way. So we're gonna use the bottom of the range, 0.2, and the top of the range, 0.35. And then we're gonna divide those numbers, the 400 calories from fat and the 700 calories from fat. We're gonna divide those now by nine because we get nine calories per gram of fat. So the bottom of the range in that case would be 44.5 grams. That would mean 20% of our total calories from fat. And the upper end of the range would be 78 grams of fat. So that would be the upper end of our range, 35% of calories from fat. Okay, so that's the basic way to do this math. But to be able to do this, you need to have an idea of the total number of calories that you're going to eat in the day and then um, have your macronutrient proportions broken down. Um, so like if you were following a ketogenic diet, um, it would look more like carbohydrates, 5% of calories from carbohydrate. Um, and then fat would be more like 70 to 80% of calories from carbohydrate and the remainder from protein, just as another example. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.